This is the uh, this is the Starliner, at what we call ascent and entry suit. So astronauts will wear it during the ascent phase uh, for uh, for about an hour into the mission, and then they'll they'll put the suit back on prior to the entry phase. So they'll they'll wear it all the way through entry. In earlier versions of spacesuits, uh, we've seen them in silver, we've seen them in white, we've seen them in orange. Everybody says now why blue and why is it so lightweight? And the truth is, uh, you know, blue because hey, it's Boeing color, right? It's Boeing spacesuit, it's Boeing rocket. It's a uh, it's a blue flight suit. And is blue your color personally? Uh, I'm a blue fan. I love blue. <laughs> we found, uh, especially with the uh, orange suits that the astronauts wore in the space shuttle, with a hard helmet, a rigid neck ring, a lot of mobility joints. That for the simple task of getting people safely to space and back, perhaps that was a bit of an over design. Hey, can we make it lighter? Can we make it more like a hood with a with a clear Lexan visor, which is why you see what you see. Inside, the crew always has to communicate. So this is a protective cranial helmet with a similar hat, headset to, that they use on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier. And then all the way down to the to the shoes, which are which are very lightweight. They're almost like sneakers. We realized that maybe we didn't need the bulky boots that we were wearing in the space shuttle. So this is these are Nomex. Uh, so it's fireproof uh, fabric on the outside. And uh, uh, it, it's more lightweight. The whole suit overall weighs about a third of what the space shuttle suit weighs. And what about uh, user experience testing? What, what's the kind of feedback you're getting from astronauts? From um, well, I'll tell you, I mean, my personal experience is that um, when you wore the orange space shuttle suit, you felt like you were wearing a heavy space suit. To me, um, and I spent a lot of time in military aviation, um, to me, this feels more like a comfortable flight suit, something that you could wear for a long period of time and not be subject to the fatigue uh, and the um, sort of just the, the pain of fighting against the suit the whole time. But here I find that uh, the fabric is light enough and breathable enough that in, under most environments you really don't even need cooling on the inside, although we do have it. We plan to use touch screens, uh, as is everybody these days, so these are capacitive space gloves, believe it or not, so you can actually operate a space touch screen with these. Uh, every uh, every pilot and astronaut loves pockets, so we got plenty of pockets. And then I, I mentioned a little bit about the boots on the way down.